is, is the other side your good side? I got two good sides. It's up to you. I'm you want to switch? I just... I'm looking out for you. Yeah. <laughs> How's it going? Marcos Villegas, Fight Up TV, powered by Station Run VIP. Being joined with Sean Porter here in Long Beach. <laughs> What's up, Sean? Man, I'm good, man. You know that. <laughs> I know, I know. Hey, as always, man, great to talk to you. Uh, just a, a, a few quick things uh, that I want to touch uh, your, I guess, your opinion on. I know you covered on your, your podcast, Porterway Podcast, uh, as well, these topics that I want to talk to you about. Okay. Uh, Crawford going up to 168 uh, to face Canelo. Uh, you were in the ring with Crawford. You felt his strength. Do you feel that he can be competitive against a guy like Canelo or Jermel if he were to win at 168 pounds? Yeah, I mean, I think if anything, you just have to get your mind out of the space of who's stronger. Boxing ain't just about strength. You know, who's smarter, who's more athletic, who's faster, who's got more stamina, who's got more experience, and the list goes on, you know what I mean? So you you add all that up, and you would actually think, well, man, a lot is actually on on Terrence's side, you know? Uh, I actually think that a fight between Terrence and Canelo would be really interesting. I think that Canelo is not who he was three or four years ago, and um, I really wouldn't say he's declining, definitely not fast, but, I mean, his career is definitely not doing this. And it and it hasn't done this in two or three years, you know what I mean? So, obviously, you, it ain't a fast decline, but he is, Canelo's certainly just not who he used to be. I mean, he has been in a lot of fights, three wars with Triple G, and uh, saying all that to say, yeah, I think that a fight between Terrence Crawford and, um, and Triple G would be, interesting and definitely will be competitive are we being unfair to canelo based on one performance or is this something that you've kind of noticed for from like the last two three fights this hap this i saw this before the writer fight, fight with b no the fight before b uh, the fight before Bivol. Yeah. you know when you when you look at the fight okay so <clears throat> you look at the fight between caleb plant and canelo alvarez and you say well canelo did everything he did what he always does and eventually he Keyword, eventually, he caught up to Caleb Plant and knocked out Caleb Plant. That eventually never came with Bivol. So when you see that eventually never comes, you see that in the fight with Bivol that Canelo came to the ring with the same game plan that he had been using fight after fight. The only difference is eventually never came. So if, if eventually never comes, then what does he do? You look, you fast forward, and he and he got the you got the same fight against Triple G. He just is younger, fresher than Triple G, and he beat Triple G. But he fought the same fight that he fought three times against the same person. You didn't do anything different three times, and then you see again. Eventually, came with Ryder, but the fight with Ryder, I'm 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 all for a good competitive fight. I'm all for that, but. When you are Canelo, you're supposed to separate yourself and show why you are Canelo Alvarez. Eventually came against John Ryder, but eventually, you know what I mean? If it doesn't, then what, you know? So now we're looking at a faster, fresher, great legs, great stamina, great game planning, and Terrence Crawford. And then we're even, why are we talking about Terrence Crawford and, 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 and uh, Canelo and not Canelo and Charlo? You know what I mean? So look at the Charlo fight. I think that Charlo... Not, He's gonna need you need movement. Let's like talk about the facts. You need movement against Canelo. You need a fast work rate against Canelo, and you need a great jab against Canelo. And you got to get to Canelo's body, and then you got to keep Canelo off of you. You know what I mean? So, I think that um, the fight with Canelo and Charlo, I think it's interesting. I do think that Canelo wins that fight, um, but it remains to be seen. Yeah, you know, it's it's a weird thing because of the weight. And Canelo's fought bigger guys that punch harder. Yeah. And if like same with Jermel and Terrence, them moving up, that's kind of like the the question mark there. Like, how are they going to handle one getting a punch from a guy that's bigger, but also, you know, Canelo's going to maybe take their punches and be like, huh, okay, I, I've felt stronger, bigger punches. I could be a little bit more lenient now. I could push for it. Yeah, I'll, I'll take one, but I know I can give or take two or three in return. What you don't want to do, though, if you're Canelo Alvarez, but this is going to work to his disadvantage. If you look at this fighter at 54 and you say, well, he's moving up to 168. He can't punch as hard as me. He can't punch as hard as such and so, such and such. But if we're being realistic, Charlo don't walk around at 150. He doesn't, big. He doesn't live at 150, yeah. which means he doesn't train at 154. Excuse me, the, the weight class, 150. He doesn't live at 154, so he doesn't train at 154. He probably trains at 168-ish. 
which means that's his body won't be foreign to performing at that weight class, you know, which means he's going to be strong at that weight class, you know. This is a, more than likely a strong 168 cutting down on 54. Think it's like they're more or less like the same size. It's exactly. I'm, what I'm saying is it evens itself out. Finally, though, uh, then, how big of a factor then is it for Terrence? Is it the, the case that we've seen, you know, recently in history, the smaller guy, because he's quicker, more skillful, just completely because he's so much faster and skillful, surprises the bigger guy? Like, would we see that play out hypothetically in a fight with Canelo and Terrence? Yeah, I mean, again, like when you look at... Um, Terrence Crawford, you look and you imagine he's probably training at 160. He's probably training around 160, 155, 160, which means his body is not foreign to being as high as 165, even 168. So, yeah, okay, he doesn't come to the ring on fight night above 170. Canelo does, but then again, you say, hey, the faster, quicker, lighter fighter who more than likely has power and strength at that weight class because he is natural, his man, his body weight is that uh, that weight class. He's cutting down to 47, he's cutting down to 54, you know? So it's just, I think those are the things that people don't know and then they overlook certain components to a fight because they don't know those things, you know? If he's able to pull it off, like that's what, top five ever discussion? Man, that's like. Right. Undisputed in two weight classes actively. That that's yeah. like Henry Armstrong type stuff. I, I just I hate talking about the 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 like ever. Yeah. I hate the ever conversation. It's because errors and all that. Yeah, I just I definitely like the era conversation. Yeah. You know, and it's not it's no shame to like be the best of your era of your generation. You know, Sean. Hey man, as always, great right. chatting with you. Appreciate it, Sean Porter, Marcos Vegas here in Long Beach. I can't, I can't go down anymore. But uh, you know, like he say, you know, when they ask him for the Germonta fight, they don't want to get credit for that fight. It's the same for me. I don't, I don't need to take that fight because everybody's gonna say it's too small, it's too small, it's too small. And then, you know, he, he need to enjoy his fight. Okay, he deserves it. He deserves it. Oh, I, 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 I like Spence, but uh, you know, I like Spence and all the respect for him and everything. But I knew. I knew. I think is uh, the 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 type of type of fight of uh, Terrence Crawford is is fighter is 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 is, is different. All right, thank you, guys. Thank, thank you very much. Last question over here. Would you consider him with the winner yeah. Benavidez and Bubu? Huh? Would you consider Benavidez? Ah, uh, we'll see. We'll see. We 100% right, focus much. on this fight, but uh, everything is possible right now. All right, guys, thank you very much. I know you, said, right, guys, you, you, much. you, you said you can't move down to 158, but is there a certain weight, a certain weight that you would fight for over that? Uh, 168. But uh, like I say, like he say, uh, nobody's going to give me credit for right, that.